And I think we are recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Land Mission Accommodation with your host, Ibrahim, a.k.a. Mark Brown. And I'm back here for our second episode of Season 4 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and a Mission Edition. Four seasons already. I still can't believe that this thing is still going on, but I'm happy that it's going on. And today, we have back up with us from last season, if you remember, Miss Amanda Sorrento. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm really, really good today. I'm glad. glad. Thanks for deciding to come back on the show. Oh, of course. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and for people who don't know you or didn't see last year, uh, could you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm Amanda. You might know me from Twitter. I post a lot of, like, Disney stuff or Rick Moranis or Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a big shaggy kick right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you might know me from YouTube. It's same name, Amanda Sorrento, or the channel R2 Ninja Turtle. do a lot of stuff on that channel good time <laughs> yes if you haven't checked out either channel especially our two ninja turtle you got to that's like they're pretty legit <laughs> yeah. and i'll put a link to those below <laughs> so for those of you who are new to the game show this is 12 uh, 12 multiple choice questions about anything even remotely related to the field of animation as long as amanda keeps getting questions right she goes higher up the ladder once she gets one wrong that's the end of the game and she leaves with the last time the point from the last safe haven there are three lifelines 50 50 she could get rid of two wrong answers if she wants a phone or friend, if she chooses, she can call someone for help or an ask the expert. This season, our expert is Eli Sanza, our winner from last season, an animation, film, and entertainment fan. We've asked him all these questions previously, and Amanda could see how he answered and decide if she wants to go with that or not. So, Amanda, mm -hmm. are you ready to play Millionaire? Oh, I'm very ready. She's ready. <laughs> I think you're more ready than last year, too, so that's good. <laughs> so, I'm going to I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay. Tell me if you see the millionaire screen. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, who wants to be millionaire animation edition? And uh, remember, once again, this is your lateral points. Once you get to the yellow ones, you can't lose them no matter what. You can always walk away whenever you want. And um, again, everyone, here's our expert, Eli Sanza. Check out his blog, eJunkieBlog at WordPress.com. So Amanda, pay attention to what he says. He says, my strength is in American animation, especially Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks. I'm pretty bad with Studio Ghibli, the most foreign in the animation. The older the film is, the more help I will be. I'm good with classic animation. My knowledge of animation TV is okay, but it lies mostly between the 60s and 90s. So, groovy. Yeah, groovy, yes. <laughs> my words, exactly. So keep, keep that in mind whenever you want to use it. Okay. Oh, and also, don't forget, no, nothing is final until you say final answer. So take your time to say final answer. Don't rush. Oh, yeah. Or else I have to go with whatever you said. Oh, no. Okay. Let's start, Amanda. 500 points. Which of the following Disney Toon Studios films does not feature characters from the Winnie the Pooh franchise? Is it A, Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, B, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, C, The Tigger Movie, or D, Piglet's Big Movie? I'm going to go with B, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Is that your final answer? Final answer. I don't know. You, you rushed to that one. I don't know. Is, will this be the end of the game for you? Your answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> that was a hard one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm sweating already. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's one on, on the same channel you mentioned, R2 Ninja Turtle. I saw she did a, a video of... Um, what was it? The, there's a party here in Agrabah. Yeah. And that was like that's like the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> yeah, we love that movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this one too. Like it's just I think one of the better uh, direct to DVD sequels. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's actually it's actually like legit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amanda, you got that right. Let's go on to the one thousand. I have to remind you, if you get that wrong, that's the end of the game. You'll leave with nothing. I don't think it will happen, but just have to remind you. Okay. One thousand points. Let's go. In the 2009 Pixar film, Up, what does Mr. Fredrickson tie to his house to get it afloat? A, seagulls, B, ghosts, C, magnets, or D, balloons? I'm going to go with D, balloons. Final answer? Final answer. Does Mr. Fredrickson tie balloons to his house? Your answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> you have a thousand points. How does it feel? Oh, wonderful. No matter what happens today, you can't leave with less than that. <laughs> are you are you an up fan? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. I I don't like it. I, I'm not that big a fan of the movie, but it's enjoyable. I know there are people who love it a lot more than me. I just have problems with like how is Mr. Fredrickson the same age as Carl Munz, even though he's like 20 years older. I don't know. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. <laughs> 
okay, you had 1,000, but this game's called Must Be Millionaire, so we want to get you all the way to the top. <laughs> Let's go, 2,000 points. Okay. Which of the following DreamWorks animation films is based, albeit loosely, on a Middle Eastern legend? A, Madagascar. B, Megamind. C, Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. Or D, The Croods. I'm going to go with C, Sinbad. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. Huh, you're going through these like like that. So let, let's hope your luck runs out for doesn't run out. Your answer is correct. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> like I'm a big fan of Sinbad. Like I think it's an underrated movie. Yeah. But, but I know most people don't like it, but I I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I remember at Universal Studios they had like a Sinbad stage show at one point. It was really neat. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> yeah. To Sinbad, but um, yeah, I like like. This was the last 2D animated film DreamWorks did and before they started making everything computer animated. And when I watched this movie, I'm like, I wish we had another 2D animated film from them. But Yeah, really? I doubt that's ever going to happen. But well, we could hope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Amanda, you're doing fine. Still got all your lifelines. 5,000 points. In the 1995 Disney Toon Studios film, a goofy movie, what is the name of the girl that Max Goof has a crush on? I feel you know this one without even the... I need the choices, but A, Roxanne, B, Rhonda, C, Rachel, D, Robin. I'm going to go with A, Roxanne. Final answer? Final answer. <laughs> Maybe you are too much, too smart for this game. <laughs> Let's see. Your answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> I yep. was here for Halloween last year, so that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, that's very serendipitous, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah this is um i haven't seen this movie in a long time but i do love the songs like mm -hmm. on the open road is like such a classic to me yeah it is love and, it uh, the the father and son song they sing i forget how it goes oh nobody else but you yeah nobody else but you that's it yeah but, <laughs> anyway but the good thing if uh, you've you've passed your mark from last season so you're actually doing better than last game so yeah, thank you <laughs> let's let's keep let's hope you go even further 10,000 yeah. points. <laughs> Released in 1939, the first American animated film not made by Disney was from Fleischer Studios and was loosely based on what novel? <laughs> Is it A, Gulliver's Travels, B, Robinson Crusoe, C, Oliver Twist, or D, Moby Dick? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Have we stumped you finally? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try to ask the expert? <laughs> you can if you'd like. We asked Eli this question previously. He said, I'm 100% sure that the answer is A, Gulliver's Travels. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that's just you could go with that or not. <laughs> I think I'll take his word for it. I'll go with A. Final answer? Final answer. All right. This is the first question you didn't know off the top of your head. You decide to ask Eli. He said, I'm 100% sure the answer is A. Can he be trusted? Let's see. Your answer is correct. Yeah, yes. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you, Eli. Yes. <laughs> it was called Gulliver's Travel. It's actually the the second full length traditionally animated movie from America. Wow, I and had it was, no idea. Yeah, I think you can find it online, like on YouTube. I think it's like in the public domain, so people oh, cool. have uploaded. It. It's it's okay. It's like a Max Fleischer short, but made into a movie. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's worth checking out, especially if you're into that stuff. Yeah. Okay, 10,000 points. Okay. You're still doing good. You got two lifelines, so. Okay. 20,000, let's go. <laughs> Which Pixar short was shown in theaters before the 2008 Pixar film, Wally? -E? Yeah. Ooh, Lifted. <laughs> One Man Band. Partly Cloudy or Presto? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 did, you, did you see Wally in theaters? I did. Do you remember what was playing before it? <laughs> totally eluded me. <laughs> well, take your time, and you still have two lifelines if you'd like to use them. Oh, okay. Um, Are you familiar with all these titles? I think so. Okay, that's a good sign, at least. Lifted. Wait, do you remember which one Lifted is? Can I ask that? Like, what happens in Lifted? No, that might that might cons be considered helping you a little bit. Okay. So I can't do that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I go with fifty-fifty? <laughs> you want to get rid of two? Okay, we can get rid of two wrong answers for you, and we got one man band presto. 
Okay. Remember, you could always use another lifeline if you want. Yeah. If you get this right, you keep going forward. If you get it wrong, you go down with a thousand. But you can always walk away at ten thousand if you want to. Your choice. Okay. I'm gonna go with D. Presto. Is that your final answer? Yeah, final answer. <laughs> How sure are you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Amanda, you didn't know this one. You took a guess with a fifty-fifty and went with Presto. You get this right, you keep going. You get it wrong. It was nice having you, but that's the end of the game. Your answer is... Correct. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I thought Ooh. the One Man Band was a lot older. so. <laughs> yeah, I think One Man Band came out with Cars, if I remember correctly. Yeah, maybe. Cool, yeah. there we go. There's Presto, the one with the, uh, the magician's rabbit. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm... Whew. That was, that, was, uh, that was a little bit hard wrenching, but I'm glad you made the right choice. Yeah. Okay, the next one's 32,000. If you get that right, you will have that no matter what. If you get it wrong, you go down to 1,000. You can always walk away. You still have uh, one more lifeline if you need it. Okay. And keep in mind, if no one gets to the million, I bring the top five of you back for a second round. So if you ever want to walk away at a high number, keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, here's the big one. 32,000 points, Amanda. Of the following Tinkerbell films from Disney Toon Studios, which was released the earliest? Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue, Secret of the Wings, Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure, The Pirate Fairy. Hmm. Are you into these Tinkerbell movies? I was when I was in like third grade when the first one came out. <laughs> Do you remember which one came out earliest? Oh, yeah. Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure, see. Tinkerbell Lost Treasure, is that your final answer? Yeah, final answer. Well, you sound confident about that, I must say. Well, you didn't even bother to ask the expert. If you get this right, you have 32,000 and you're in the lead this season so far. Get, get it wrong, it was nice having you. Your answer is... Correct. Oh. <laughs> yes, I, I just had to jog my memory. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If, 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 if I had been asked that question without looking it up, I would have no idea. I've, oh. only, seen, I've only seen the first one. Oh, okay. I, don't, I didn't bother with the rest. But <laughs> Congratulations, Amanda. You have 32,000. How does it feel? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Good. No matter what happens, you will have 32,000 points today. Groovy. Yes, it is groovy. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, uh, you got you've you not you've gone farther than you did last year, and you're you're in the lead right now for for this year. Yay. Even though you're only the second contestant, but I mean, still you're in the lead. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's. But well, we want to get you farther. The next one is sixty-four thousand. Even if you don't know it, you might as well guess because you have nothing to lose anyway. Right. And you still you still have that lifeline. Don't forget. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sixty-four thousand points, Amanda. Which Stranger Things actor provided the voice of Charlie Brown in the 2015 Blue Sky Studios film The Peanuts movie? Noah Schnapp, Finn Wolfhard, Katya Matarazzo, I know how to pronounce that, <laughs> Caleb McLaughlin. I'm sorry if I messed up those names. <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. Um, oh, boy. Are you a fan of either Stranger Things or Peanuts movie? I am a fan of Peanuts, but I still haven't seen the movie. And oh. I was talking about this with my friend Annie on Twitter, and I know she told me this answer, but oh, nice. I don't know forget now. I hope Annie is to watch this. She's like, Amanda forgot. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, remember, uh, uh, you have the expert if you want, and even if you don't know, you might as well take a guess because you have nothing to lose. Okay. I feel like it's B, but I'm going to go with ask the expert. <laughs> want to ask uh, Eli? Yeah. Okay, did Eli know this? Let's go. We're using our last lifeline to ask him. He said, I don't know. All I know is that I'm pretty sure it wasn't C, Gatin Matarazzo. Okay. So right. he helped. He said it's not C. But yeah. A, B, I, or D could be either. Any. We'll go with B then, Finn Wolfhard. Is that your final answer? Final answer. <laughs> okay, you didn't know this one, which is 64,000, so of course it's a hard one. Eli, he helped you a little bit. You want to be Wolf, Finn Wolfhard. Is that correct? Amanda, your answer is... Wrong. 
wrong. Uh, I'm so sorry. You leave with 32,000 points. Yeah, the correct answer actually was um, uh, Noah Schnapp, this guy oh. over here. Yeah. But yeah, well, hey, at least now you can you can tell Andy you remember this for, for yeah. a fact. <laughs> but but um, the good thing though is uh, you're you got 32,000, which is like you know the the one of the highest, uh, one very high score to get. So so if there's if there's a second round, you're there's a very high chance you'll come back for a second round. <laughs> so uh, it was so much fun having you on. And before we leave, uh, is there anything else you want to say, or how can people find you online? Um, yeah, check me out on uh, Twitter at Miss Fortuosity or Instagram, the same name, but with a dot in between the words, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, on my YouTube, Amanda Sorrento. So I'll see you there. <laughs> nice, nice. I'll put, I'll put links to all those below. So Amanda, again, thank you. It was so much fun having you on. Thank you. And for all of you watching, we've got two, two contestants, not a made to the million. We have eight more to go, so keep watching. So till next week, take care.